ladies and gentlemen of the Bearded Society, please calm down and prepare to witness Resident Evil greatness. In the upcoming moments, you're about to witness a Resident Evil veteran speed run the shit out of Resident Evil Village. Here the Beardo, that's me. A huge Resident Evil fan. Some would say the biggest. We have played Resident Evil Village maybe about 15 or 16 times through. Our current record is like one hour and 54 minutes. Maybe it's 53 minutes. It's been a while since Fear the Beardo has speed run Resident Evil Village. But we're gonna get, we're gonna try to get as close to two hours as fucking possible. I know this isn't Helldivers, but it's good to mix it up every once in a while. Let me go ahead and park the beard mobile into the bearded garage. And let me go ahead and take you on inside. fun playing, uh, you know, your rounds of skee-ball, shooting some pool, maybe playing some pinball, placing bets on the video poker machines, grabbing a drink at the bar in, here in the, uh, here in the Beardo Arcade Lounge. Go ahead and finish up, grab your drink, because this Resident Evil Village speedrun is about to get started. We we'll grab the other legends, let them know that Fear the Beardo is about to take the main stage. I know a lot of you using the uh, Fear the Beardo gym, hitting the weights, hitting back day, chest day, legs. But please, if you're worried about missing a second of the Fear the Beardo action while you're getting your workout in for the day in the Beard gym, don't worry, we got seven 70 inch. LED, QHD, 4K, out of your fucking mind, TVs installed into the beard gym, and no, Biggles, this is not a twisted tee, this is a ghost energy free workout, so shut your fucking mouth, twisted tee, get that shit out of my face, even though they are pretty good, no, we're hyped up, water, adrenaline, testosterone, and some ghost pre-workout, because that's just what we do, how you doing, keep it moving, that's what I always say. So when you're done hitting the beer gym, state of the art beer gym, state of the art equipment, dumbbells, barbells, tables, everything that you need to get your fucking workout in. When you're finished up, go ahead and grab your towel and make your way to your seat. I'll show you where you're sitting. Please, legends, make your way on in. 
to the bearded stadium. Gold plated, cushioned, leather. Lazy boy recliners get as close as you can to the main stage because in a, sh in a few short moments, Beer the Beardo. Again, that's me, the nine time Pokemon League champion, every single fucking region. Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Yanova, Kalos, Alola, Galar, and the newest champion of the Paldea region. I'll be sitting right up there. Right up there on the main stage. Speed running the shit out of Resident Evil Village, Lady D. Yeah. And if you are a member to the Bearded Society, if you are subscribed on YouTube, if you're a member on YouTube, if you are subscribed on Kick, let me go ahead and show you to your exclusive VIP room of the Beard Cave. Golden walls, golden LED lights, seats, cushioned leather Lazy Boy recliners, plated in gold with your name, hand, fucking carved. Your name is, your name is hand, fucking carved. These are the back of your seats. The air conditioning is set to a crisp 69 degrees because that's the way we like to do things around here because sex. Alfred is checking tickets right over there. So whip out your gold credit card, your bearded society credit card. Alfred is scanning your ticket. Go ahead and find your seat. And let's get the show on the road. And let's rock it. A little bit of smelling salts, even though these things are done. They're done with. They're finished. They're not doing nothing, man. I need a new batch. I need a new batch. Beard is long, staunch, thick, dense. Because, yes, ladies and gentlemen, 2024 is the year of the beard. So, gentlemen, stop shaving. Put it down. If you need to trim every now and then, you want to trim the mustache, you want to trim the sides, trim the cheeks, finish up the neckline. That is supported. But, please... Heaven forbid, do not shave the beard this year, 2024. Don't do it. Or fear the beardo. We'll come after you. And that's just the certified truth. I don't lie about here. There's one thing that fear the beardo is not, and that is a fucking liar. That's one thing that fear the beardo is not. I'm not a fucking liar. I'll tell it how it is. I'm not afraid of the repercussions. Let's go ahead and check out the legends in the chat. Let's start off with the YouTube side as we usually do because we do have some super chats to start off the stream. Celluloid Dream for a 199 says, oh. And then Celluloid Dream for another 199 says, yeah. 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 John Morrow. 
by arch enemy John Morrow for a $5 super chest. Says Beardo needs to fake AI background behind a green screen. I, however, actually own a mansion that has a theater with gold plated chairs. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. a very real, pristine, state-of-the-art, fully refurbished, finished beard cave. Several rooms with security cameras to keep an eye on all the legends and make sure that everybody's having fun and a good time. With John Morrow, please, sincerely, with all due respect, go fuck yourself. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The other legends in the chat, Celluloid Dream, BK Outpost, the brown Filipino, Wiley Dave. What's up, Wiley Dave, you freaking legend? A dogzilla, Tommy No Figure, Captain J. The Tweed Tone. Tweed Tone. Young Simba. Toozy. Toozy. Random Ray Hypnotic. What is up, Hypnotic? Queen Ash says, hey, cutie. I've missed you, Beardo. Missed you, too. What's up, Queen Ash? Biggles Matt. What's up, Biggles? Philadel. What's up, Philadel? Grim Canal 16. Punch McLightning, the legend. Punch McLightning. Shout out to Punch McLightning for the legendary Fear the Beardo. Thumbnail today for Resident Evil Village. Uh, Klizau, Klizau says, Z's, like you're falling asleep. Well, Klizau, politely, Alfred, either get Klizau a vodka Red Bull or get him the fuck out of here. I'm not dealing with it today, Alfred. I'm not dealing with it. This is a positive stream, family friendly. This is a family fucking friendly stream, Alfred. And I'm not going to be putting up with Klizau negativity so cliz out either order a vodka red bull on the house or shut the fuck up emily krueger what's up emily krueger overkilled jesus jesus andy plays games what's up andy plays games andy plays games what am i doing what am i doing here uh, who else is in here? Vice! What's up? Vice says, Resident Evil remasters are pretty good. I agree. I love the remasters. Or, uh, remakes. The remakes. I am a big fan of the Resident Evil remakes. Resident Evil 2 remake is fantastic. Resident Evil 3 remake? Eh. Eh. It is not worth the full price. It is not worth the full $60, $70, whatever it was, um, retail. Resident Evil 3 Remake should have been a $40 game. But I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it. And Resident Evil 4 Remake, fan-fucking-tastic. Fantastic remake, Resident Evil 4 was. The Drunken Sailor says, What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Tomorrow is Tuesday. Tuesday, a turbo high tea. Legendary Tuesday night's main event Tuesday. What's up, brother? Shut the fuck up. Sorry for cussing. What's up, brother? Uh, Fonzarelli says John Morrow be winning big time. No, John Morrow is a fucking loser. But he does super chat a lot, so he can stick around, I guess. He stick around, I guess. Joe Rosie, what's up, Miss Joe Rosie? The real Joe Rosie says, what's up, Uncle? Good luck with the speed run, dude. Thank you. Cajun Corey, what's up? Cajun Corey says, what's up? Beardo. Look at Cajun Corey. 
with that great ball pokeball member badge you love to see it shout out to all the members as well all the members on the youtube all the members subscribers on kick love seeing the chat lit up in green love the support thank you guys you guys don't know how much it means and the support is real uh, with all of the memberships the recommitments the gifted memberships and the super chats the donations they all get poured back into the setup man they all get poured back into the stream and because you guys because you guys we're getting a better microphone for the other rooms of the beard cave for the security camera footage in the other rooms of several different rooms of the beard cave because you guys we are investing in a better microphone for the security cameras so all of the donations super chats gifted memberships all of the recommitments they get put back in to the quality of the stream so i do appreciate it it never goes unnoticed it's always appreciated still recovering from a little bit of that las vegas cold the cold little bit of sickness that we um that we acquired at the Las Vegas meetup. Still getting over it. Still have a little bit of a runny nose, so I do apologize if I'm sniffing, if I'm sniffling a little bit. Still recovering. John Morrow for another one on nine says, my speed run of Resident Evil 8 stands at one hour and 25 minutes and 44 seconds. Beat it. I doubt it. Because here's the thing, John Morrow. Your speed run, your speed run, John Morrow, you couldn't run if you fucking tried. You couldn't run if you fucking tried. You know why? Because you're a quadriplegic, John Morrow. You son of a bitch. Jumping over to the kick side. Scutless says, hey yo! Hey yo to you. Hey yo to you, Scutless, Wiley, Dave, Keenan. What's up, Keenan? Punch McLightning. Shout out to Punch McLightning. Shout out Spirians in here. What's up, Spirian? Vent uh Vent Money says, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go! What's up, Vent Money? Uh Jig 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 R. Jig R says, Do you think it's possible to obtain Jewish superpowers? By sucking a fart out of them like a bong rip? That is one hell of a question, and I don't have the answer for that. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Malfail. Malfail. In the chat as well. Lucas C., the raging Cajun. Lucas C. says, couldn't run if you tried. Beardo gives no... Dude, that's one thing I, that's one thing that I do, is I tell it how it is. And if there's one thing that Fear the Beardo's not, is I'm not a fucking liar. I won't ever fucking lie to you guys. Meow chat says, damn. Yes. 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 All right. Village. It's time for Resident Evil Village. What I am going to do is real quick is there was a time when I was, um, I was messing with some mods for Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil, um, Village, and I want to make sure that the mods for Village are not on right now, because we did have some nudie mods, and I want to make sure that they're all off. Okay, all of the nudie mods are off. All the all the nudie mods are off for Village, so that's good. We don't want to uh, we don't want to get into any trouble. We don't want to get into any trouble. All right, Alfred, please, uh, actually, let's go in and throw on this. Actually, one sec, one sec. It is hot in here. I'm going to go grab a rag, a sweat rag, uh, because it is hot in here and I'm sweating. I don't know if you can see the perspiration. Look at that perspiration right there. I'm going to go grab a quick rag. I will be right back. Hypnotic says big titty mods. Yes, we did have the, the titty mods for um, Lady D, Mother Miranda, and Mia Winters. We did have the nudie mods installed and I was messing around with it uh, for research purposes, for research purposes several months ago. So, um, but they are all turned off. So it's gonna be a safe stream, a safe speed run. Let me go ahead and grab a quick sweat rag and I will BRB, I'll BRB. Hypnotic, you're in charge.
All right, we're back. So let's go ahead and throw in the state-of-the-art Turtle Beach headphones. Best that money can buy. Um, Alfred, please cut the music, please. Thank you. And let's uh, let's jump in to Village. Jumping into Village. We had it uninstalled, and I just installed it today. So we'll probably have to um, look at some of the video settings and the graphic settings to to play. Uh, John Morrow for a five dollars says, "Beardo, I pick up more chicks in my wheelchair than you in your Tacoma." Well, John, you seem to be paying a lot of fucking attention to me because how the fuck do you know that I have a Tacoma? All right, I need to go full screen mode. So let's start game. Options, camera. Um, no, game. It's probably in display. Why am I not clicking? Display. Can I use my controller. No, 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 normal. Okay, here we go. Display. Um, display. We want to go... Okay, hold on. Can frame rate variable? No. We go 120 refresh. Or should we just go 60? We'll go 60. Okay, so a lot of these settings, it looks like they were some of them. Yeah, we'll turn that off. Lens flare off. Okay, so this should be good. Uh, let's see. Luke for a 199 says, any RE4 mods you recommend for research purposes? Uh, big Titty, Ada Wong, uh, Jiggle Physics. It's Big Titty, Big Booty. I've used it before on this, um, on this, actually it wasn't on my stream. It was actually on a Geese and Gamers play stream. We played Resident Evil 4, um, the Separate Ways DLC on a... Geeks and Gamers Play live stream, and I did use the Big Titty, Ada Wong, uh, Jiggle Physics, and Big Boot, uh, Big Booty, Big Butt, um, Jiggle Physics. So. Okay, so at this point, and we're gonna do third person too. We're gonna do third person. Okay. All right. Enough fucking about. Let's go. Did my stream die? Did my stream die? Hold on. Did my sh did my kick stream die? Chat, let me know. Did my kick stream die? Is my kick stream still up? Is my YouTube stream still going? Chat, let me know. Kick chat, let me know. Is my kick chat dead? Is my kick stream dead? Uh-oh. But the kick side. Is my kick side dead? My kick stream might have died. Kick stream might have died. Kick 
Kick is down. Kick is struggling. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Okay, we're skipping all the cutscenes, by the way. That book's too scary for you. Almost there, honey. We're gonna skip all the cutscenes. Now, if I was using big uh, safe, if I was using safe, big booby, um, Lady D, um, mods, I would watch the cutscenes for Lady D. But we're not running any mods right now. No mods. Kick is up, but scratched out. I wonder if that's a kick problem or a me problem. Yeah, my kick stream just died. My kick stream just died. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it up and let's see if it fixes itself. Sassy Sasquatch says, uh, "Heard you don't watch my streams. I do. I watch your streams every now and then." Sometimes I can't catch them, but I do. Uh, I'll, I will tune in every every now and then. Soto Soto says I'm so convinced Ethan and Mother Miranda hooked up. I don't think so. I don't think they did. Skipping all the cutscenes, running third person as well. I might just end my kick stream. It's just spinning. Kick is just spinning. All right. This is what I'm going to do. Sorry, kick. Sorry, kick chat. I'm going to end. I'm going to end the kick stream. Going to end the kick stream. I don't know why kick was having a problem, but we're just going to do the YouTube. Hypnotics is Beardo never ever watches my streams. I do. I do watch your streams as well. But my favorite one of your streams, Hypnotic, is the one that I was on. I actually had a good fucking time on your stream. And I've never been asked back. Can you believe that, chat? But Hypnotic, you've been on uh Hypnotic, you've been on several of my gaming streams, but I've only ever been on your stream once. Can you believe that? Also, chat, how is the quality of um How's the quality of the stream on YouTube? Of the gameplay? How's the quality of the gameplay? Soto True says there's nothing quite like when we played this for the first time bruv such um such a dope time i agree man before i was streaming playing this game with the boys running uh obviously it's a single player game running single player but all being in the discord chat with my boy soto and uh with my brother my brother uh little fear the beardo sinestro um all playing this game for the first time together it was so much fucking fun Hypnotic says it's a single guest show. There's too many guests. Um, shit, shit. There's too many. Uh, there's too many guests that haven't been on yet. You will get invited on Hypnocast soon. Don't you worry. All right. Hey, I'm gonna hold you to that. I'm gonna hold you to that. I had a good time. Good time on Hypnocast. A whole bunch of legends over there. Thank you guys for being here. Rocking almost 80 people here. I know that we've been doing a lot of Hell Divers, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Do a Resident Evil speed run. I love Resident Evil. It's been a while since I played Resident Evil. And the last one I did was Resident Evil 4 on um, Impossible Difficulty. We 
playing a lot of Resident Evil 4, I wanted to throw it back into a quick speed run because I know in a single stream, I can beat this game in a single stream. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to literally play this game and roll right into Geeks and Gamers Mario Kart tonight. Spirian with the $2 super sticker. Thank you, says 1UP. Shout out to Spirian. Like I said, we're going to skip all the cutscenes. All the cutscenes are going to be done. And condolences to the kick chat. I don't know why my kick stream uh, just died. What did all this? Also, you know what else I'm going to do real quick? I'm going to alt tab. I'm going to open up my MSI afterburner. And make sure that my uh, fans on my... Sorry, I'm going to make sure that my fans on my graphics card are all the way turned up. Because um, running this game can make my PC hot. So, um, we're going to do that. So, I just turned my fans up. I turned the power of the fans up. Um, and here we go. A lot of people had their issues with this game, it, and I do too, because it does, look at that view, that view is so beautiful. I know it's a speed run, so I'm not going to take it in, take that view in, because we're trying to beat this as quick as we can, but, um, okay, so now I have my guns, right? Okay, here we go. I have all my guns. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, we want our, we want our pistol here. But yeah, I agree, uh, Versailles, I agree. Um, this game is absolutely fantastic. Love this game. But the, what, I think the disappointing part about this game was the fact that everybody thought Lady D was going what to be happened? this... She was going to be the big bad, and she's literally only in the game for the first, like, 15-20% of the game. But everybody frolicked and loved Lady D so much. Capcom was like, oh shit, we struck gold with Lady D here. Um, and she kind of just... No, she was only in the first part of the game. I'd love to get more Lady D lore. I'd love to get more Lady D lore. Or like a game, like a prequel. A prequel game with Lady D in it. What's up, Swag Cuddy? I like it more with the third person view. I do too. And in my opinion, uh, the third person view is easier to speed run. The third person view is a lot easier to speed run. Okay, so I believe you have to use this to, to do this first. You gotta do that. That guy didn't die. There's a few things. This is a weird, like, timed event in here. This thing is weird. It's, it's like, it's timed. Please let me out. There we go. Um, Soto says, I, I still wish that you could have done two variations of this game. One being you have chosen to save Zoe in 7, and then the other being the version you actually got with Mia. Oh, yeah, like that carried over with, um, Resident Evil 7, the, the ending. Yeah, the fact that you save Mia, that's the lore, because me and Soto, when we both ran through 7 at the same time, we both chose Zoe, because Zoe, uh, Zoe's actually cool, and didn't try to fucking kill you. And Zoe's actually, in my opinion, Zoe's hotter. Zoe, Zoe is hotter than Mia.
this whole section is time. Which is unfortunate. And we have so much money. Like, we have so much currency built up. Fuck. I had to reload. And yes, I am using... This is a continued... This is a continued playthrough. So I am using infinite ammo guns. Fucking sue me. I don't care. I'm using it. I earned it. I earned these weapons. I have... Played this game through so many fucking times. Um... So many fucking times I've played this game through. I've earned the guns that I have. I'm going to I'm gonna use them. It is what it is. And honestly, I gotta beat this game in one stream so that I can play Mario Kart tonight. Which I will be live streaming my perspective of Mario Kart on the Geeks and Gamers Kick. It's been a few weeks since we played Mario Kart, but it's back! Mario Kart, Geeks and Gamers Mario Kart is back tonight, and um, I'll be streaming my perspective on the Geeks and Gamers kick. So this whole section is timed. This is timed. I, I've never found out a quicker way to do this part. You just kind of have to just kind of have to just rock with it, right? I would still, there we go. I would still love to find a, uh, a method just to speed run um, Resident Evil 4. Because I might like Resident Evil 4 slightly better than this game. It's just this game, I actually know the strategy. Without, without exploits, without glitches, without exploits, I have, um, ouch. Ouch. Holy fucking shite! Um, yeah, so this game, I, I know how to speed run without any exploits, glitches, anything like that. Uh, this is a true and through legit speed run. I'm sure there's quicker ways with exploits, but um, I don't do that. I don't do that. I will use my infinite, my infinite weapons though. I will do that. Now at this point, now I just need to wait to be shot. I need to be wait to be shot in the leg by a bow and arrow. Philip Chan, Project Egg Roll! With a 10 gifted Fear the Beardo memberships. My boy Phil. We got to meet and meet again rather and hang out within Vegas. Uh, we played Hell Divers 2 last night. That was a hell of a fucking good time. And uh, dropping 10 gifted Fear the Beardo memberships, man. Thank you very much. Okay, now at this point, we just need to be shot in the leg. We just need to be shot in the leg. Does anybody in the chat, is there any lore? There we go, there we go. Um, is there any lore masters for this game that exactly know what the specific time, what the timing is of um, Rose is here? the specific timing? for how long that section is that we have to uh, stay alive. Does anybody know what the exact timing is for that mission? Because I wish that I can do it quicker. I really do. Okay, I will try to every now and then collect, collect, some, collect some stuff. Okay, let's move on. Which one's the shotgun? Is this... That's the shotgun. Okay. Uh, Resident Evil 4 S plus on hardcore is not fun without mods or exploits. Um, I mean, I mod Resident Evil 4. What were the mods I used on Resident Evil Come 4? On. I think the only mods I used were for Ada. And that was to give her big boobs. Who 
Hello? I mean, I do have a nudie Ashley mod. I do have a, a nude Ashley mod. Obviously, I can't use that on... Um, I can't use that on the YouTube. Um, I also have a mod for Leon to make him Batman. Five minutes. Versailles says five minutes, maybe. Okay. We got 80 people in here. 64 likes. Stream. Please like the stream. Send the stream into everybody's algorithm. Let's send the stream to the fucking stratosphere. And, uh... And, uh... Yeah, but when you like the stream, don't just click on it and like it like a fucking pussy. I want you to like it and smash it. Smash it hard, deep, stiff, and rough with no lubrication. Because that's the way Batman would do it. That's the way Kratos would do it. That's the way Fear the Beardo would do it. Okay? So let's just get let, let's just get that out of the way. Damn, the fire's moving fast. <coughs> Don't worry. Try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. Uh, if you rename the stream Resident Evil Yoga the Nude Mods, you'd be fine on YouTube. Y yoga the Nude Mods? Okay. I don't know what that means. I just what do you mean, Yoga the Nude Mods? Is that a thing? What do you mean, like, nude yoga? I know on Instagram, hey, shit, dude, I'll tell you what, on my Explore page, I'll see fucking shit of women... Who are pretending to breastfeed a fake baby that just pull out their full fucking boob. They'll pull out their full fucking boob and pretend to feed a fake baby. And really, you know what they're fucking doing. You know what they're doing. They're just doing it on purpose as an exploit in the Instagram algorithm to just show their fucking tits. Togzilla says, fuck! I just broke my screen smashing the like button. It will good. Good. You needed a new one anyway. Yoga vids get away with nudity? Oh, I didn't know that. Did not know that. Punch says, Beardo, YouTube allows nude yoga. But, like, even if I put it in my title and, and use nudie mods, like, if they look at the stream, they're gonna know that it's not nude yoga. They're gonna know that. They'll just look at it and they'll just see that I'm using nudie mods for my for, for my stream. They know it's not nude yoga. <laughs> Sorry guys, that my nose is so runny and I'm sniffling. I was doing good. I was doing good the past two days, and this morning I've just been really uh, runny and mucusy. <laughs> I might have wasted a few seconds there in that cutscene. We're, we're going to try to get as close to two hours as we can. And we have to. We have to get as close to two hours as we can because we have to play uh, Geeks and Gamers Mario Kart tonight. One sec. I'm uh, I'm responding to a text real quick. <laughs> RE seven equals Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, th there's definitely some uh, inspiration there. I think. 
There's definitely Wait, some um, freaks have rose? inspiration. I love Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7, in my opinion, is scarier than this game. I love this game, but this game isn't really spooky or scary, um, in my opinion. I mean, it has its moments, like if you get, like, you know, a jump scared by a lichen. Um, but, I mean, I'm too turned on by Lady D and her daughters, the triplets. I'm too turned on by them. And the fish guy, Moreau, the, the, the fish guy, he's not scary. Donna uh, Beneviento with the, um, with the puppet, that's not scary. Heisenberg isn't scary, and Mother Miranda's not scary. It's a great fucking game, and I, I do think that this game... Um, holds its own and has its special place in Resident Evil lore. But, um, here, actually, real quick, I want to look at how many full heals do I have? I have, um, I have three full heals. Hopefully, we don't need to use them. But what I will do is, real quick, this is going to waste a few seconds going back. I should have done it when Not I was already true. here. Um, I have something let's go ahead and buy today. some. See, I'm maxed out. Look at my money up there. Look at my money up there. Hold on. Look at my money. I am maxed out. Maxed out on money. <laughs> at least I think that's maxed out. Okay. Ah, yes. All right. I have you. We I got a few more, a uh, few more full heals there. Resident Evil Seven was excellent until you get to the ship. I agree. I agree. Resident Evil Seven was best at the uh, at the Baker House. That's her name, right? The Bakers. Dude, my nose is fucking runny, guys. I am sorry that I'm sniffling so much. Actually, the scariest part, the scariest part of this game was the, um, the scariest part of this game was the bit with, uh, was the bit with, it actually was the Donna Beneviento house with the, uh, with the deformed baby fetus. That was the scariest part. Adrian says, when we played Resident Evil 7 for the first time, only ever at night, and we'd all hit the same jump scare. And the same oh yeah, that jump scare. The jump scare with um with the mom. What was her name? What was the mom's name in Resident Evil 7? Margaret? Was it Margaret? What was the mom's name in Resident Evil 7? I think it was Margaret. That jump scare was something else. But I think the the true naturalist is that a word or is it most natural the most natural scary resident evil game that i've played was resident evil 2 remake that game is spooky scary and mr x is very frightening Yes, that's why you like Resident Evil 8 so much. It's like RE4. There there are some, some um, I guess, atmospheric similarities. There are some atmospheric similarities between Resident Evil 4 and Village. Naturalist is a word. The fetus part was a nice homage to the to the PT demo. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Where am I going? Let me stream you What's the PT demo? What do you mean the PT demo? Taking a live dead witch would you prefer? Resident Evil 3 got screwed over. Uh, yes, I agree, but Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, the OG RE3 Nemesis it was a short game, like, initially. The OG was a pretty short game. So, th th yeah, they could have expanded. And tr like, and the thing is, is they cut a lot of stuff out. They cut a lot of stuff out in the remake, too. That's why I believe that um, Resident Evil 3 Remake, uh, it should have been a, it should have been a uh, half-price game. It should have been a uh, like a forty dollar game, in my opinion.
I did enjoy Resident Evil 3 for what it was. And I, I did pay full price for it just because I was really hyped up. I was really hyped up off of the uh, Resident Evil um, 2 remake. I was so hyped up. Here we go. Skip. I was so hyped up for from the Resident Evil um, 2 remake that I just thought that Resident Evil 3 remake was going to be fucking incredible. Um, here we go. And for what it was, it was good. But for full price, it's it's not worth full price. So far, 23 minutes. I think we're doing all right. I mean, obviously not the best, but um, it has been a minute. It's been a minute since I uh, did a speed run for this game. So for, I don't even remember the last time I did a speed run for this. Was it October? Might have been October when I did a speed run for this game. They chopped RE2 down as well. They did. They did. But I still love the RE2 remake. RE2 remake was fan fucking tastic. <laughs> they did a really good job with that one. And when I pause it periodically, that's me checking to see if there's uh, skippable cutscenes. Because the cutscenes do add uh, they do add time to your uh, to your to your run through. What have you done to my daughter? Now here's a part. A little puzzle here. Alright. So this lady whoops. This lady looks here. This lady looks here. Um, here we go. This lady, here we go. This one I should have by memory. And if I don't, I'm going to be really mad at myself. This lady looks here. And these guys, let me move these guys. These guys look at him. Boom. And that should be the puzzle. Boom, baby! I told you, I've, I've played this game. I've sped run this game so many fucking times. Hold on, where the fuck am I going? What Here the we hell? Go. Okay, this shotgun is not... Uh, I thought it shot a lot quicker. I thought this shotgun was a lot quicker. Get out of my fucking way. Fuck you, dude. Uh, that's gonna fucking waste some fucking time off of my fucking speed run. I believe this is the way I'm supposed to fucking go. I think. Oh no. Fuck me, dude. Fuck me, dude. All right, that's just uh, me. Um, well, one, that one right there was not having ammo. I needed to fucking reload. But um, um, I can't skip that either. And I'm trying. I am trying to peek over and, and see you guys uh, in the chat and see if you guys are saying anything. So um, I will respond when I uh, when I feel necessary. All right, so this part, this part, I always, um, I can get, I guess, lost and flustered in this part. This part can be confusing. Would I prefer a Code Veronica remake or Resident Evil 5 next? Code Veronica, but you know what else I want? Um, thank you, Luke, for the 199, by the way. That's a very good question. Would I prefer a Code Veronica remake or Resident Evil 5 next? 
Um, I want a Code Veronica remake. I don't know if they'll ever do it or when they'll do it. I know, I know for a fact, I know for a fact they are working on a, um, on a Resident Evil 5. I know for a fact they're doing that. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm lost right now, by the way, guys. This is me being lost. Here we go. This is me being lost. Um, what the fuck am I saying right now? Oh. Fuck me. There we go. Ah, uh, fuck me in the ass. Um, I know for a fact that they're doing a Resident Evil 5 remake. I'm sorry for, uh, for getting distracted. Um, I know they're doing a Resident Evil 5 remake. I would love a Code Veronica remake, but really? You guys know what I want? I want another... I want another... Resident Evil 1 remake. I know they already re made a remade Resident Evil 1. Um... But they remade Resident Evil 1 before they even made the OG Resident Evil 4. I want another Resident Evil 1 remake on this current RE engine. That's what I really want. So th those are the three remakes. I mean, I already know they're doing an RE5 remake. They're already working on it. The remakes I want are uh, Code Veronica and another RE1. That's what I want. Uh, RE one remake with a new engine. Well, well with, with with the current the current RE engine that they're using right now. The current RE engine is um. Is what I want. This RE engine that they have used for uh, Resident Evil um, 2, 3, um, 7, Village, like, it's perfect. This RE engine that Capcom has is some of the best graphics in gaming right now. It really is. The new engine compared to the original remake. Seven, well, yes. Yeah. So the RE engine that they've used for 2, 3, 7, and 8, and now 4. That RE engine, some of the best graphics that they have for, um, in my opinion, in gaming right now. <laughs> They will likely do a reboot, which is, which would essentially give you that. I don't think so. I don't know if they'll do a reboot. I mean, if anything, you can consider these current. That you can consider the current um, um, remakes reboots. I guess if you really want. Wait, hold on. Why can't I see it in there? Where's it at? But how you guys doing, man? We got almost 90 people here watching. Thank you guys for being here for this Resident Evil Village speedrun. I know it's a little bit of an older game. Uh, but it is still, I guess, as as far as uh, canon goes and um, continuity, 
it is the most recent Resident Evil game as far as continuity goes. I know that after um, after Village, we got the RE4 remake, but um, I at least know how to speedrun this game. I used to know how to speedrun Resident Evil 2 really well, but um, I'm not I'm not as brushed up. I'm not as brushed up on the Resident Evil 2 um, speedrun technique as I am for this one. I actually had to look up. I actually had to look up Resident Evil 2 speedrun te techniques. Um, but for Village, I actually came up with my own technique. I've never looked up a guide on uh, speedrunning this game. This is just sheerly based off of me playing this game so fucking much and coming up with my own speedrun. And uh, coming up here, we're getting to another another somewhat tricky part right here, when we need to dodge Lady D. This part is always uh, this part's always a little tricky for me. Hey, 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 hey! Get the fuck, get the fuck out of my face! Get the fuck out of my face! Fucking dumb bitch! How do you like the DLC for Village? I actually liked it. I actually did. I, I did like the DLC for Village. It took forever to fucking come out, though, huh? It took forever to come out. What, Village came out in 2000, um, 2021? Like, springtime of 2021? And the DLC came out, like, fall of 2022. That was a long fucking time. Stupid man things! You won't live long, even if you run! Shaker Maker says, what's up, noobs? What's up, Shaker Maker? Hey, it's been a while, huh, man? Well, maybe. Maybe it's been a while. I can't remember. But, um, thank you for being here, man. How you doing, Shaker Maker? Okay, here we go. Um, actually, shit. Hold on. Uh, okay. Mask of Rage. Mask of Rage is three. Mask of Rage is three. Mask of Joy. Whoops. Mask of Joy is one. And Mask of Sorrow, let me guess, two. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh, Mask of Sorrow. Boom. What's this one? Four. We don't have that one yet. One. Mask of Joy. Boom. Let's put that in there. And then um, Mask of Rage. Boom. All right. All right. Perfect. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I'm sniffling so much. Uh, it's been a minute. About to hop on some hell divers. Yes, dude. Yes. My, um... Here we go. Let's actually grab this real quick. Um, been playing a lot of fucking hell divers, man. That's like the only game I was playing. Was hell divers. But um, but yeah, man, it feels good to be to be playing another game. Been playing a lot of Hell Divers, only Hell Divers. Been playing a little bit of Call of Duty uh, Black Ops Three Zombies as well. Um, but it feels good to be playing Resident Evil. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. I'm just locked in. I'm locked the fuck in right now. Okay, I should be able to get out. How's the game quality? Game quality is good. <laughs> fuck me. Come on. Let me the fuck in. <laughs> Woo!
Black Ops 3 Zombies is underrated? I don't know if it's underrated. I don't know about that. It's just that people aren't really playing it anymore because you can't really play Black Ops 3 Zombies because, um... Because Activision, man. Activision, the hackers. You can't really play because of the hackers. Okay, real quick. I'm going to take this opportunity right here. Uh, 36 minutes in. 36 minutes and we're just about done with the castle. We're going to have the Lady D boss fight just about right now. I am going to go take a very quick piss. Very quick piss. So, um, so yeah. So, yeah. I'll, uh, here we go. We'll play some music for you guys. We'll play some music and uh, I will be, I will be right back. Very quick piss. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Hey, real quick, real quick. Look at that. Jen and Sylvia Saska says, why, hello, hello, Beardo. Hail chat. Hail to the Beard Society and the fellow Beardies. Yes. You just, you just missed, you just missed the entire, um, castle, the entire castle, Lady D, um, Lady D and her vampire daughters. We just literally beat the castle. The first part of this speed run, uh, Jen and Sylv. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go take a quick piss, quick piss. Quick little piss. I'll be right back.
Shit, I'm muted. I'm muted. Uh, so let me, uh, let me go ahead and just repeat everything that I just fucking said. I said, damn, I was barely gone. I was barely gone. And we lost like 15 viewers. I said it was a real quick piss, real quick piss. Um, then what the fuck did I say? I don't know. Oh, I, I said Jen Soska. Jen Soska says, we missed, uh, we just missed some seriously sexy times. Um, yeah, but we didn't really get to see um, Lady D in all of her glory because uh, I am skipping the cutscenes. I'm skipping the cutscenes because every little moment, uh, every second wasted um, goes against the speed run. And unfortunately, the cutscenes go against um, the time, the time in the speed run. You see the time, uh, the time right up, right up there, right up there, that time at the top. Uh, that is the overall gameplay time. And the cutscenes do um, um, eat into that. So we're skipping all the cutscenes. Looks like you're outside. Matches you. So there's Lady D right there. All fucked up looking. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's get those viewers back up. We were at about, um, we we're at about like 85 viewers. Fuck. Oh, I'm stuck! Oh! Okay, let's go ahead and heal up. Okay, we finished that actually pretty quickly. Well, we just gotta wait for her to crash into here. go she's done she's done done lady d done you're the one who's cursed finish the castle off in 38 minutes beard i'll do my uh best not to be a terrible distraction but no promises hey distractions from the saskas are more than encouraged. Rose. Never a problem. We are trying to... Wow, running into the Saskas on two streams must be fate, says uh, Ego. She's done, lucky girl. Yeah, she got she got done by uh, you're the beardo. You're damn right. The winged key. On to the next victim. You're damn right. You're damn right. Sitting at 85 likes. Let's get 90 right now, huh? Let's get a fucking like spike. Send this stream into the fucking stratosphere. And put it into everybody's algorithm, huh? What do you guys say? What do you guys say?
I'm not still muted, am I? There's no way I'm still muted. Dude, we are losing we are losing some viewers. Somebody else must have went live or something. Or maybe I just suck. Is that what it is? Do I just suck? Dude, Resident Evil 4 is so good, like the best. I love Resident Evil 4 OG and Resident Evil 4 Remake are both fantastic fucking games. Fantastic. I might prefer this might be a hot take. I might prefer um I might prefer the remake better just because of the gameplay. There you are. I the OG um somewhat tank controls of the um of the OG it is it is jarring to play. It is jarring to play. And even though I have played the OG and beat it um even though I have played the OG and beat it it is like if I were to try to jump in Jeremy did just go live. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, if I were to jump in to the RE4 OG, um, it would take me a solid minute just to, uh, just get reacclimated to the controls. Okay. I think I remember what this is. I think it's zero zero nine zero four. I think it's zero four zero seven. I think. No. Zero zero seven. Okay, this is gonna take time. This is gonna take time. Um, zero seven zero four. Fuck. Zero eight. Okay, all right, that's what it is. Zero seven zero four zero eight. My bad. That's my bad. I thought I remembered that one. Hey, what's up, CK Win? CK Win, the fucking legend. Hey, there, there was an attempt at getting a like spike. I don't know if we got any new likes, but there was an attempt made. There was an attempt at getting a like spike. Shoot him right in the fucking butthole. Uh, real quick, CK win. Correct me if I'm wrong. When we get to the Donna Beneviento house, the Beneviento house, um, the code for the door when we're doing the baby part, the code for the baby part, right? That's um, 025911. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's 029511, right? For the code for the door and the, uh, at, and during the baby part, right? Damn it. I better see the Duke again. 029511. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that's the case. CK Win says, I bet John Morrow can speedrun faster than you. CK Win! What are you talking about, man? There's no way. There's no way that John Morrow is better than me. Okay, so we're not going to get any of those extra hidden treasures. We're not going to do the um, hidden treasures right now. Because uh, we're speed running, right? Plus, we don't need them, man. We have so much fucking money in this game. 
We have so much money. Thank you, Punch Rick Lightning, for dropping that, uh, for dropping the link. Come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Uh, that link is to the official Fear the Beardo and High Tea merch store. Brand new High Tea merch designs and also brand new Fear the Beardo designs on that merch store. If you guys want to support and rock some High Tea and Fear the Beardo swag. Uh, that's the place to get it. You have to fix her. Exclusively. What the hell is this? Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. This can't be real. Zero five zero five two nine eleven. Okay. Am I losing it? Hey, look at that. James Norman, the Norman Conquest says, Hey, yo, thanks for the raid, man. Yeah. No problem, man. No problem. Um, for some reason, when I started my stream and I started playing uh, this game, my kick stream just died. It had to be, it had to have been a me problem. Because um, this is a super powered, like, very intense, um, high graphic, high quality game. Well, I don't know what happened to my kick stream, but it died. But yeah, definitely uh, before I just killed my kick stream, I wanted to make sure that I raided to somebody. So you're welcome, the Norman Conquest. Jen and Sylvia Saska says that high tea merch is damn fine, much like the new guy. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so this part, this part of the game, um, while it is the spookiest, I think this is the spookiest part of the game, um, it is slow, man. It is slow. Kings! X Kings says, how much for your salsa recipe? It's not for sale. It's not mine. It's my dad's. It's my old man. My old man's salsa recipe. So, um, it is not for sale. My dad didn't even want to give it to me. My mom had to convince my dad to give his salsa recipe to me. It's like, dude, dad, like, like, you could die tomorrow and your salsa recipe will go along with you if you don't share it with me. Like, come on. Like, what are you doing? What? Where's my gun? Where is your gun? Um, Jen Saska says, is this the fucking baby part? Ah, this part will put you, uh, this, <laughs> that'll put you off from having kids. True. 
Honestly, I I, I kind of think she's adorable though. I kind of think I kind of think that the that the little baby is adorable. Not gonna lie. I already know what the eye is. It's the I already know it's the bird flying to the right. Um, what else do we need though? We need to we need to go in the shoulder. But here's the thing: I don't need the key in the shoulder. I don't need the key in the shoulder. At least I don't think so. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Maybe we needed it to activate that. Okay. Um, what is it? Uh, zero, uh, zero five two nine eleven. I thought it was zero two five nine eleven. Zero two. Oh, oh, sorry. Zero zero five two nine eleven. Are you sure it's zero? I I could have sworn it was five nine eleven. But wait. Okay. Wait. I, I'm going the wrong way. Zero two. Um, oh, this is going to kill my fucking time right here. 052911. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Batman Killer Croc slow? Batman Killer Croc slow? Oh, you're talking like uh, in the, um, in Arkham Asylum? This part is slower. This part is slower, I think, than, than that. Or it's like, it's more frustrating because you want to, you want to be going fast. Plus, you don't have all your guns and stuff. Um... You don't have all your guns. There we go. Uh, Jen and Sylvie Saskia says, I always make Sylvie play this part. She hates, uh, she hates it. Uh, really great, uh, uh, body horror. Ethan has the worst luck. I agree. Ethan does have the, have the worst luck. There's several times in Resident Evil 7 and in Village where it's just like, I would have just fucking quit. I would have just fucking quit. By the way, is this Jen and Sylvia, or uh, just Jen? Are you guys both here? Alright, I always forget this part. I always forget this part. Uh, best friend of the whole world, the teddy bear, the book, um, Rose, the player, and the ring. Okay. Wait, hold on. The teddy bear, the book, Rose, the player, and the ring. Okay, here we go. Come on. Let me pick this fucker. Okay, the teddy bear, the book, rose, player, ring. Boom. Uh, why do you put... S right, right, kings. All right, king. I have a feeling I know... I have a feeling I know uh, who you are, king. I have a feeling. I have a strong feeling. Thank you, guys. 92 likes. 92 likes on the stream. We are just that close to 100 likes. Both of them. We're both here. Jen is typing. Jen says, wouldn't miss a Beardo stream if we could help it. You love to hear it. You love to fucking hear it. Scutless. Scutless says, for some reason, horror. Um, Wait, hold on. What I, I picked the wrong thing? What I pick? Ah, the scissors. Here we go. Uh, for some reason, horror involving uh, eyes is what gives me the most creeps. Um, things crawling behind the eyes or get the. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. All right. Now let's go through here. Oh, shit. Shit. Whoops. Ah, uh, man. That just wasted about um, a minute or two off of my speed run right here because I forgot to cut open... I forgot to cut open the uh, upper torso here with the scissors to, to grab the last piece here. 
So that's going to take some time off of my speed run. There we go. All right, so let's put that in there. Um, the medallion. The medallion. Okay, so this is, uh, here we go. So this is eagle flying to the right, and this is three closed eyes. Boom. That's another game, Dead Space. Dead Space. I, uh, I need to go back and beat Dead Space Remake. I really enjoyed Dead Space Remake. That's the thing. I really enjoyed Dead Space Remake. But, but, um, by the time I was done, by the time, um, while I was playing Dead Space Remake, I believe either I started playing Jedi Survivor or, um, Resident Evil 4, and I stopped playing Dead Space Remake for one of those two games. <sighs> but I do want to go back and play it and beat it. All right, here comes our beautiful baby girl. I can't wait to see her. I can't wait to see Rose all grown up. I cannot wait to see Rose all grown up. Let's see what she looks like. Let's see what our beautiful daughter Rose looks like all grown up. Can't wait to see her. She looks so beautiful. Look at her. Just look at her. Isn't she just like the cutest baby you've ever seen? Wait, hold on. Uh, what parts do I have? Breaker box. He's okay. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got to open this up. We got to grab the part to the door. Boom. Come on, grab it. Thank you. Jose Taco says, dude, your stream last night made me so tired, uh, tired though, um, tired though, out the day, 3 a.m., I went to sleep, woke up at 6 a.m. Well, I hope you're well rested. I hope you're finally well rested. But yeah, my stream, man, that stream last night, had a good fucking time, a good fucking time with, uh, Adam Vets talking, Project Egg Roll, Mr. Philip Chan. And, uh, Miss Joe Rosie. Good fucking time. Does Ethan have a flashlight? I thought he did. <laughs> this is the kind of uh, baby you name Princess Cupcake. This is the kind of baby that you name Unique. And Unique spelled incorrectly. To make the name Unique, Unique. That's the kind of name you give this baby. Uh, Beardo, when, when are you and the others going to bring back the daily gaming streams? That is entirely up to Jeremy and Jay. That is a Jeremy and Jay thing. Jen Saska says, uh, sad to have missed last night's stream. All good. Don't you worry about it. There will be more, and guess what? You're here right now. You're here right now. Uh, Cajun Cory. Cajun Cory says, Oh, Beardo, I've been thinking about getting me a capture card and streaming with myself. Do it, man. Do it. What are you thinking of streaming? Uh, James Norman, Norman Conquest says, I'm getting Helldivers next week. Thie Sea of Thieves 2. 
That's awesome, man. Hell divers, dude. The hell diver streams have been absolutely amazing. Fucking incredible. Love me some hell divers. Fuck me. <laughs> Jen and Sylvia Saska says, That new guy has a beautiful smile. Handsome as fuck. I don't know what you're talking about. I have... I have zero clue what you're talking about, but thank you. I appreciate the kind words. All right, come on, get in the elevator. Get in, get in, get in. Press the fucking button. Press the button. Jen and Sylvia Scott says, Hello, baby. New guy has ice water in his veins. Not even bothered. I've just... I have played this game so fucking much. This is like my 15th or 16th playthrough of this game. I've just... I have played this game way too fucking much. That's what... That's how I know how to speed run it. And, um... I've never, as far as this game goes, I've never looked up a, uh, a guide to speedrun this game. My speedrun technique was, I've just developed it on my own by myself. I don't use any exploits, I don't use any glitches, I just play the game how I, how I know how to do it. Chen Saska says, gorgeous man! Fear the new guy says, I will always slow down my speed run to flirt with Jen Saska. Jen and Sylvia Saska. Uh, Paul Tate says, get on the fucking boat! I might have added the fucking right there. But yes, get on the fucking boat. Shaker Maker says, I must now depart. Godspeed. Hey. Thank you for showing up and hanging out, Shaker Maker. Have a good rest of your day. We are one. We are one like away from 100 likes on the stream, baby. Let's go ahead and get that like right fucking now. If you're the new guy, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. And look at that, we got the 100 likes. Shout out. Thank you. There's some... There's some of that I wish that you can skip, you know? I wish that you can skip some of that. Here we go, we can skip that. Alright. Go ahead and add this... Add this to the key that we have. Thank you. Go ahead and pick that up. Uh, right by the door. I like how it puts you, I like how it puts you right outside the fucking door. Here we go. Alright. Biggle says, fear the new guy is never wrong. Never. That's one thing. That's one thing that fear the beardo and fear the new guy isn't. We're not a fucking liar. I'll never lie to you guys. Fear the new guy says, I'm correct 200% of the time. I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that.
All right, time to go do um, Moreau. Time to go do the Moreau section of this game. What time is it? Almost 9 o'clock. I really, really hope that we have enough time to finish this speed run before, um, before I have to do Mario Kart. I really do. You had no idea you can play this in third person. Uh, you unlock third person mode when you buy the um, DLC. When you buy the DLC for this game, the DLC came with um, came with the third person mode. And personally, I like the third person mode uh, better for speed running. I feel like the accuracy while aiming, as I missed two shots right there. I feel like the accuracy while aiming is um, is better. It's better in the third person for speed running. I feel like the shooting is more accurate. Uh, Biggles, dear Beardo, I've been requested to put you in the meme video. What do you mean in the meme video? There's a the meme video. Um, go ahead, go ahead and put me in it. You have my permission. Karen M says, just got an email notification that someone here gifted me a membership. Thank you, sir or ma'am. Much appreciated. There is a good possibility that it was Project Egg Roll, Mr. Philip Chan, uh, who dropped 10 gifted memberships earlier today on the stream. Uh, so thank you, Egg Roll. And um, I guess on behalf of Egg Roll, you're welcome, Karen, for the uh, membership. Again, welcome. If you were a member before and haven't been yet, welcome to the Bearded Society, Karen. The bearded society grows thicker, 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 thicker. Thicker, thicker, thicker. The bearded society, dense, thick, and rough. Uh, so third person is something they sold you in DLC? Okay, yes, yes. So third person is... Um, you can only play third person in in uh, if you bought the DLC. I mean, there is a mod for it. You can mod it. You can mod in a third person of uh, of this game. Man, this elevator is long, huh? But in my opinion, the DLC is worth it. The DLC is worth it. I had a good time with the DLC. Plus, when you get when you get the DLC, actually, I think Mercenaries mode. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Mercenaries mode in this game was a free update, right? Mercenaries was a free update, or did it come with the DLC? Cor correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the Norman Conquest. James Norman says, What would a Jen and Sylvia Sasuke Resident Evil movie look like? Uh, I know that I want to be in it. I, I know that I would want to be in it. And I'm not asking to be the main character. But I want to be in it. And I don't want to be a zombie. I want to be the fucking hero. Or at least one of the heroes. Fuck. Come on. Shit, there's a guy right here. I'm just gonna fucking run, dude. Just running. Uh, I got mercenaries when I got the Resident Evil 7 and Village bundle. Okay, so if, if that's the case, then that means mercenaries was a free update. And I thought so. I thought Mercenaries was a free update. And then the uh, Shadow of Rose DLC came with uh, the third person. 
the third person mode for this game. Jen and Sylvia Saska says, uh, James Norman, I'll tell you one thing. It would 100% have the line Jill Sandwich uh, would be in it. I'd love to do a Resident Evil Leon. That? Leon has not been done justice in a film yet. He's badass. Leon, Leon is my all-time favorite Resident Evil character. Leon and um, Jill Valentine. Those are my favorite Resident Evil characters. I like Chris Redfield, don't get me wrong. But Chris Redfield... He's not as interesting a character as, um, as Leon Kennedy. And I'll be honest, Ethan, uh, sorry, e Ethan. I put, uh, Ethan and Leon, Ethan and Leon together in that. Um, Ethan, supposed to do? Ethan is kind of a boring character, but he was supposed to be that, right? Uh, he said the exit. Ethan was supposed to be kind of a boring character because, like, a character with no face, because... In Resident Evil 7, they they wanted to make you the player, um, the central focus, right? They wanted to make you the player, the protagonist. That's why they didn't give give Ethan a uh, face model in in Resident Evil 7. Player without a face, because they wanted Capcom Seriously? wanted to put you the player uh, in the shoes. Um, Jen and Sylvia Sasta says, Beardo, you totally survive a zombie apocalypse. You'd have post-apocalyptic warlord energy. I agree. I agree. I think that's an accurate statement. What do you think, new guy? New guy, would you agree with that? Um, Jen Sasuke says, Leon and Jill. Gotta remember, I'm still speedrunning this. Um, or I gotta remember, I'm still speedrunning this. Uh, Leon and Jill are my faves too. Chris is a bit bland. My favorite thing about him is how much he pisses off Wesker. Yes. And I have to fucking backtrack here to shoot this one. I missed it. I missed shooting this one. Fuck me. Right here. Boom. Alright. That took a few seconds off of my fucking speedrun. Ethan is just boring, just an average dude with a shitty fucking life. Agreed. E Ethan has the worst fucking luck. Uh, but Leon, Leon's cool because he's a rookie cop, right? Leon is a rookie cop, and his first day on the job, he's thrown into a freaking stinks zombie virus outbreak. Leon's cool. CK wins his beard. Oh, you're the type to die first in Apocalypse? No fucking way. There's no way, dude. I heavily disagree. All right. No, but wait. It's, it's blue, orange. Blue, orange, white. Blue, orange, white. Blue, orange, white. Blue. Orange. White. Alright. No, you're not. I am. Come on, push it, push it, push it. Here we go. Woo! C 
CK Wade says John Morrow would survive way longer than you. Caught myself. Uh, I don't think so. I think John Morrow. John Morrow is. He, he, he's zombie food. John Morrow zombie food. I'd use John Morrow as a human fucking shield in the zombie apocalypse. And he'd let me. That coward. John Morrow's a fucking coward. James Dormer says, okay, you're in the apocalypse. Melee weapon or ranged? I'd have both. I'd have both. And I'll tell you what, I'd have a good fucking woman along with me that's handy capable. I'd have a handy capable woman right by my side. That'll kill zombies with me and that I can make sweet love to. Are you fighting a tumor? I mean, this it, this guy's got one. He, he's definitely got one. If I can drain the water. Okay, what well, hold no, hold on. Let, hold on. Let me do the fucking thing. Am I missing something here? Hold on. Wait, hold on. Oh, son of a bitch, I missed something? Did I miss something? Hold on, did I miss something back there? Ah, oh, fuck. I missed something, huh? I needed to do this. Yeah, I missed something. That's gonna take about... That's gonna take several minutes off of my fucking time, huh? That is truly unfortunate. That's what happens when you haven't uh, done a speed run for this game in a long time. Okay. That is unfortunate. That's gonna take about three or four minutes off of my speed run time, probably right there. That is truly unfortunate. Here we go. All right, um, here we go. Sorry, blue, blue, orange, white, blue, white. Boom. Boom. Um, one of the only Mythbusters I remember is that an axe is more efficient than a gun if you're in a horde. That's interesting how they can Got confirm it. or bust that myth right there. Jen Saska says, I'm good with the gun and melee weapons. Just saying. Oh, I know you are. I know you are. I'd be willing to test that theory out. Well, there goes the speed run. Eh, it's a loose speed run. It's a loose speed run. Thing that's unfortunate about that i usually i usually get that guy right away on that first bit that's going to take a few minutes off of the speed run too right there that's going to take a few minutes off of the speed run with that Can't get caught that again yeah here here goes, here goes some added, added minutes on the speed run right here. I usually get that guy in the first bit right there. That's when I usually get him. Where's he going? I, I, I usually get him in that first bit. Oh! There we go. 
as he was in life. All right. The exits up ahead. That was um, that was not the cleanest run for right there. We're an hour and seventeen minutes. That was not the cleanest run, for right there. Uh, play some uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies one day. I would love to. Here's the thing. I'd have to play it solo because you cannot play that game online because um, because of hacks. Where's the fucking elevator, man? You can't play that game online because, because of hackers. That's the only thing that's a bummer. Like, you have to play that game solo or split screen because I do not want to risk my... Um, I don't want to risk my computer or account getting hacked. But I love Black Ops 3 Zombies. And I'm fucking good at it too. Uh, speed runs generally take longer when you uh, when your age catches up to you. Potentially, there might be some truth to that. On Xbox, I don't own an Xbox. I mean, if somebody wants to send me an Xbox Series X to my PO box, but I'm not spending money on an Xbox. I'm not, I'm not spending money on an Xbox, and I don't have an Xbox. Here's the thing, why own an Xbox when you have a PC? The superior way to game in 2024 is PS5, PC, and Switch. That's the best way to game. James Norman says party up. What do you mean party up? Let's party up. I'll download it. Party up. Oh, on um, on uh, Black Ops. I have it on PlayStation. Even then, dude, I don't know about playing. I mean, I guess playing it online on PlayStation safer, huh? Okay, this this part as well. This part can get a little. Uh, this part can get a little tricky too. This is another. This is another moment and point in the game where. Um, you have to be very strategic. Be very strategic with the way that you play this game. This part of this game. You can get you can get crossed up pretty easy in this part of this game. When you go into the Lycan dungeon, you gotta you gotta get lucky and you gotta play it very smart. Jen, uh, Jen and Sylvia Sask Saska say, strictly a PC gamer, new guy? No PlayStation? No, I, I have PlayStation. I have a PlayStation 5, uh, Nintendo Switch, and a PC. I mean, that's the optimal way I, I game right now. I like having my PS5 for the PlayStation exclusives, like God of War, Spider-Man, and, uh, and other games. But I do play Helldivers. I play Helldivers on, um, on the PC. I can see American Ninja has it too. Black Ops 3. The Lycans don't fuck around. They do not. The Lycans don't fuck around. Uh, Beardo, once you are past this part, the speed run... Um, I, I, I can't fully read exactly what you're saying right there, Biggles. Because the, the stupid heart button 
the stupid heart button on the stream is blocking the the last word you're saying in in, in the uh, in your top line. I'll read it here in a second when somebody else chats. I think we handled that pretty good. All things considered, I think we handled that pretty good. Definitely see you as a God of War kind of man, new guy. I love me some God of War. I love God of War. I streamed God of War Ragnarok, uh, the full game, on this channel. Actually, I have all of my playthrough videos, my OG playthrough videos of that game are all uploaded as a Let's Play on my channel. And I did stream... Uh, the Valhalla DLC on this channel. All of those VODs are still up and available on my YouTube channel. He has a man crush on Kratos. No, I am Kratos. Boy. I'm a god boy. And so are you. I'm the fucking god of war. I'd love to play Kratos in a live action. I'd love to play Kratos in live action. Uh, Jen Soska says, I've always been a console gamer, but I just got an awesome new PC. How hard is it? How hard is it to adjust to a gaming PC for a console gamer? Not at all, because you know what you do? This is what you do. This is what you do. I game on PC on my Xbox Elite controller. My Xbox Elite controller. I've had this thing for like three and a half years, and it's fucking awesome. I take very good care of it. Um... I actually am probably due for a new one. I am due for a new one because I use um, I use my paddles a lot for everything. I'm using my paddles right now while I game. I, I strictly have trained myself to just use the paddles. I remapped my um, letter, my letter face button, my A, B, X, Y buttons. I've remapped to my paddles. So I have my fingers on the analog sticks the entire time while I use my paddles. Uh, but my A button, my A button paddle, I've used it so much, it's starting to wear out. So I'm actually uh, in the market to getting a brand new... Oh, sorry. Um, no, no, no. Restart from previous save? No. Um, um, I'm in the market to get a new one, but still, you take good care of this thing, it lasts you forever. So this is what I do when I game on PC, is I use a uh, Xbox Elite controller. Plug it right into my PC. I can do keyboard and mouse if the game I'm playing is keyboard and mouse only. I can do it. Um, but I prefer to play on controller. When is my movie coming out, Cobra Prime? When is my, um, uh, the Viking movie? I don't know. That is entirely up to, uh, Epicverse. Josiah and Epic Mike. Um, I'm not too sure when, um, when that movie's coming out. Hopefully this year. Uh, Biggles says, okay, Beardo, while you are in this screen, take off your headset and show a side view of your face and frontal. What? Here you go, Biggles. Make it quick. That's all you get. Jen Soska says, very impressive. Wow, that would make it very easy to adjust. Xbox Elite controller, copy that. Thank you for the lesson, handsome. Hey, no problem. 
I'm here to help. I'm here to provide. I need the fucking screenshot? What do you mean? I'm not taking screenshots, man. You screenshot it. Jen Soska says, you did a movie with Epic Mike? So cool, I want to see it. Um, I can send you some stuff. Me and my buddy, uh, Jake the Viking, we did a one-shot... Wait, no. Oh, no, this is not where I need to... Ah, uh, fuck me in the ass. Fuck me in the ass and call me Charlie. This is not where I need to go. This is not where I need to go. I got off too quick. Oh, no. Oh, no. I did not mean to go in there. Uh, yes, I did do a movie with, uh, with Epic, with Epic Mike, with Epic Verse. It is a, um, a Viking movie. It was a Viking movie. It was a good time, man. It was good. It was a really good fucking time. Okay, I know that, that there is an epic, big, legendary beast back there that I can kill. Um, I'm not going to waste my time and do that. Packer says, do you prefer uh, first or third person view? Uh, for speed running, I prefer the third person view for speed running. If you want a more horror, um, if you want a scarier, spooky experience, um, um, first person. First person is definitely spookier. <laughs> Jen Zoska says, sorry to distract you, Charlie. Eh, it's okay. Just call me Chuck. Actually, don't call me Chuck. Whoops. Perhaps he hasn't laid eyes on you. All right, we're about to go to Heisenberg's factory. About to go to Heisenberg's factory. Uh, Jen and Sylvia Saska says, I fucking love Vikings! Wow, you'll really like Yaira, no spoilers. Okay. Um. Full, uh, full transparency. I have yet to buy Yaira. But. I did just get a, um. Let's just say. I'm gonna go all out. Uh. Either today or tomorrow. We got that nice, nice payout from, uh, from YouTube. We got a nice payout from YouTube. So I am going to, um, get some upgrades to upgrading the whole setup, the whole beard cave here. Um, and I am going to go all out on some, uh, Yaira purchases. I'm very much looking forward to Yaira. I am the proud owner of ISOM 1, ISOM 2, and, um... Alpha core, and I will be uh, dropping dropping some dough on uh, on Yaira. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure how easy or difficult it would be. Um, are they doing? Oh no, an autograph would be cool. Autographs would be cool. Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. Yes, I did do a Viking movie, Spy Cody. Just get your ass across the bridge. Again, shout out for uh, for you guys being here. We are sitting at an hour and 30 minutes on the speed run. Game time. Official game time. An hour and 30 minutes. Um, and uh, we still got 66 people here. 104 likes. Shout out. I didn't think you'd make it past Thank you for the support. Morale. Thank you for the super chats, the gifted memberships, and the recommitments, the member I messages. Like um, keep I it up, man. Keep it up, man. Rose. Don't slow down yet. We got a little bit to go. We got Heisenberg's factory, the Heisenberg boss fight, and then what are you the boss. Actually, no, we still have that Chris Redfield bit, too. We have to play as Chris Redfield for that like in the Call of Duty the Call of Duty-esque uh, Chris Redfield part um, that we have. Shit. And then uh, the boss fight with uh, with Mother Miranda. 
We don't have too far to go. We don't have uh, too far to go. James Norman says, I'm jumping over to Alec Baldwin's finger stream, but I got you on the TV on lurk mode activated. Thank you. Jen Soska says, I'd sign anything for you, new guy. Both of us would love to. You're going to be in Dallas or Denver for the cons meetup? Um, I, this is the first I'm hearing about Denver, but um, I'd, I'd like to go to the Dallas meetup. I would like to. I just don't know when it is. When is the Dallas meetup? Because the only thing is, is um, my family, my immediate family, we're having like a little um, family reunion here in June, down here in Orlando. We're going to uh, we're going to the parks. Going to be spending some time at Universal Studios for a few days with the family, the cousins, the aunts, and the uncles, and the and the grandma, Grandma Beardo. So that's happening in June. So I don't. If anybody knows when when is the Dallas meetup? Because I would like to go. But I might have an obligation to my family for this little family reunion that we're doing in June. Plus, my little nephew's coming out. This place is messed up. I've got to get. Uh, Packer says favorite res. Um, sorry, my. You got to get a new monitor. This one monitor keeps blanking out on me sometimes. Favorite Resident Evil game four remake was unbelievably good. Agreed. Loved, absolutely loved, Resident Evil four remake. All of the remakes have been good, and, and for those of you just joining us, I did talk about this earlier today, so if you guys have been watching, sorry, uh, I apologize for repeating myself. Um, um, in my opinion, all of the remakes have been good. It's just that 3 remake was too short to justify a full price, but it was still a good fucking game. 3 remake was still good. It's just you can't justify the full price can't justify the full price on three remake but all of the remakes have been fantastic and i'm i'm sure five remake is going to be good um i am worried with some dei stuff with five remake um but what i really want my my wish list my wish list for the remakes for capcom would be code veronica and um code veronica remake and another Another RE1 remake. An RE1 remake would be a dream come true. Like, a, another remake. A re-remake. Because RE1 was remade, but back in the day, right? Like, way back in the day. RE1 remake came out before the OG Resident Evil 4. So I would love another RE1 remake on the new, on this current RE engine. Dallas is June 7th through the 9th, by the way. Okay. June 7th through 9th. I'll have to see. I'll have to see um, when the family reunion is. Actually, I can text my mom right now. I'll text Mama Beard right now. Jen, Jen and Sylvia says, oh, I love that family always comes first. It, it'll be the first time in a long time that all of my, um, that all of the aunts and uncles um, and the cousins and the kids uh, will all be together in one place at the same time. Plus, it'll be the first time that both of my aunts will uh, get to see my baby nephew. So that'll be something cool. Okay, this part, I hate this part, having to fucking perfectly aim and shoot these fucking things. Hate it. Oh shit, and there's this one too, huh? Yeah, that was actually pretty easy. 
Beardo, if you can go to Dallas, fucking go. We gotta lock it in. We're gonna throw a few drinks back. Hey, I'm always down to fucking hammer some beers, man. I'm always down. Um, shit. This door's locked, right? Yeah, this door's locked. Okay. And I believe in here, this is this is nothing I need, right? This is nothing I need in here. Yeah, it's just Heisenberg's, uh, part of Heisenberg's hammer, so I don't need that. Okay. I am gonna have to take a piss here soon, too. We're moving along, chugging along. All right, let's go, baby. Moving along, chugging along. Record, record time. Record time. Not really, probably. Uh, Jen Soska says, You've got to love a man who's good to his family. Too rare these days. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It's it, It's been way too long since I've seen my kid nephews. My kid nephews, last time I seen them, they were in elementary school. Now the oldest is going to fucking high school, man. It's crazy. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I'm going to be the old age, man. This year in August, I'll be 29 years old. I'm going to be an old fucking man. Be an old fucking man. All right, real quick. I'm going to go take another fucking piss. I'm going to go take a quick piss, a quick hot caca, liquid molten, acidic, goosebump inducing uh, hot caca. Turbo hot caca. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make it as quick as possible. We got wet wipes on deck. Uh, I will be right back. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. Let's go. Enough fucking about. Enough fucking about. You guys can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're looking good, feeling good. Oh, Ethan. oh, fuck me in the ass. Oh! I forgot about this part. Truly, truly disappointing. She took me. Took us to be her children. Did I fall in? No, I didn't fall in. I told you it was a liquid molten hot caca diarrhea. There you go. Yes. Jen and Sylvia Sasuke says we can hear you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hacker says, I've been watching Beardo for years and still don't know his first name. Yeah, there's some people in the chat that do. How long have you been watching, Packers? Do I know you in real life or just, uh, you just been watching me on the internet? Or do I know you in real life, Packers? Or do you know me in real life? Now that's the question, huh? Is there something in here that I need? I don't think there's anything in here that I need. Okay. Got a long way to go. Uh, Packer says, I've been lurking for years, don't know you in real life, loving high tea, by the way, good shit. Hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Packers, w were you, uh, were you watching back when I was only streaming on Twitch? Because I haven't been on YouTube for a while. I haven't been on YouTube, I think, for... I don't think I've been on YouTube for over a year yet. Maybe I'm coming up on a year on YouTube. I can't remember. Possibly. Possibly I've been on a, on, uh, a year on YouTube. I was doing Twitch and Kick at the same time, and then I dropped Twitch and I started doing um, YouTube and Kick. High T is exquisite. A lot of people love High T, man. A lot of people love High T. Also, speaking of High T, there is High T merch available on the Fear the Beardo. On the Fear the Beardo merch store, there is high tea merch available. Got Beardo designs, J Drunk 3PO designs on uh, on the shop. There was one stream I was streaming Pokemon in my Pokemon stream. Because I started playing the, the file of Pokemon I was playing. I started playing it before I, uh, I think before I was like, w w when I was still just playing Pokemon casually, not streaming it, but I decided to stream it. And, um, I think I, I doxed my name on that Pokemon stream. 
Yeah, I used to watch your OG Twitch streams. Hey, look at that. Shout out. Shout out. Fuck. I can't, I can't, I can't reach that angle. Am I going to be able to reach that angle up from up here? Or am I going to have to go down? Wicked Virtue! What's up, Wicked Virtue? Says hi. What's up, Wicked Virtue? How'd your stream go? I heard you were on a stream, uh, a pirate stream with Jay. How'd that go? Just doing a little Resident Evil Village speed run. I really hope, I really hope that I have enough time to finish this speed run before, uh, before I have to go for, for Mario Kart. And I still, uh, I forgot about, I still have to do the fight with the, uh, with the propeller man, the propeller monster. Forgot about that fight. I'm hoping, man, I'm hoping I have enough time to, um... To beat this speed run before. Before. Before Mario Kart. Wicked says, uh, it was fun. We talked about our favorite fictional pirates. That's what Jay said you guys were doing on high tea. Jen says, will you be streaming Mario Kart on YouTube, new guy? I'll be streaming Mario Kart on the Geeks and Gamers Kick account. But Jay, Jay's perspective will be on either Geeks and Gamers Play. Is it going to be on the main Geeks and Gamers channel or Geeks and Gamers Play? I think it's going to be on Geeks and Gamers Play. Uh, so Jay's will be on Geeks and Gamers YouTube. I will be on Geeks and Gamers Shoot. Kick. Shoot and starter. Krista and Steph will be on Geeks and Gamers run. Twitch and Rumble. If that happens, it's all over. For your kids. And for the whole village. But don't worry. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> Come on, let me fucking open it. Poor, poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. This is another part. When you're riding the elevator, I wish that you can skip the, the, the elevator part. I wish that you can pause and, and skip riding the elevator. Wicked says, I need to finish Resident Evil 7. It's a good one. I love Resident Evil 7. I love all of the, I love all the Resident Evils. RE1 Remastered is next. That's tough. That's tough because it's the, um... It's the pre-rendered screens. It's the fixed camera angles. That's the thing with RE1 Remake. That's why I haven't played the RE1 Remake. It's because it's got the pre-rendered... The pre-rendered backgrounds. The pre-rendered, uh, rooms. I can't do the tank controls with the pre-rendered rooms that's why i wish that uh capcom were to remake resident evil 1 again because i i just can't do the pre-rendered screens man. jen saska says cool just found g uh g and g on kick thank you kindly that's where i'll be that's where i'll be at 10 30 10 30 eastern i'm hoping that i can beat this speed run by 10 o'clock, 10 15. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. We'll see if I can. I really don't want to have to. I mean, this is a speed run, right? You have to do it all in one go. I'm really hoping that I don't have to pause and pick it up on another stream. Wicked says, I tried like a year ago on mouse and keyboard. LOL needs a controller. I agree. Those tank controls with the uh, fixed camera angles, you, you, you need a controller for those.
Wicked, did you ever finish, um... Did you ever finish Resident Evil uh, 4? Resident Evil 4 remake? Punch says, Beardo, a winner is in you. I hope so. You did? You finished it? Good. What'd you think of it? I loved it. Oh, you love... You love to hear it. You love to hear it. Two remake is your favorite, though? I love all the remakes, like I said. I love all the remake. All the remakes. Three, though, like... I've said it. I've said it a few times. I like 3 Remake. I just can't justify the full price for that game. It should have been a $40 game. You really are a tough one. But I'm tired of chit chat. Time to die. Ah, fuck me in the ass. Suplexing old ladies. Where's he at? Ouch. I hate this. I hate this boss fight. This might be my least favorite boss fight of the entire fucking game. I, I, I cannot stand this boss fight. I, I just feel like I'm wasting so much fucking time in this boss fight. Alright, he's done. He's done. He's done. Now stay down. I, I fucking wasted so much time. A winner is you? No, Beardo. A winner is you? I'll take it. I don't know what you mean, Punch. What do you mean, a winner is me? Helicopter dude's badass. Yeah, he's badass. Just the boss fight sucks. The boss fight sucks.
Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. Oh, I could have skipped that. Ah, oh, fuck. Here comes the Heisenberg fight, and then I have the Chris Redfield bit, and then the Mother Miranda fight. And we're at an hour 51. Man, not, not good time. Not good time, to say the least. Because my all-time, my all-time score is an hour, hour 53. An hour 53 on a speed run. Oh no! I missed the first fucking. I missed the first fucking um, shot. That's not good. Night Saber says, hello, Beardo. Hail. Hey, hail to you. Getting a little too close to the, uh, the old dick and balls right there. The Chris Redfield bit is my least favorite of the, uh, of the, uh, I guess, sequences in this game. Chris Redfield, you never know. You never know what you're going to get. You got to get really lucky. I wish I can skip this too. I wish I could skip all this. Boom. Um. 
All right. Let me skip. Yeah, sure you did. Beardo, uh, saying the uh, the winner is is you comes from an old NES Pro Wrestling game. I think the game was called Pro Wrestling. Um, it was the congratulations versions. It was a weird translation. Gotcha. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. When was the last? The desert. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. I I also I didn't like the Chris Redfield twist in this. That Chris Redfield, like I feel like Chris Redfield is smart enough to know. Chris Redfield shouldn't have been an absolute asshole in the very beginning of this game. He's smarter than that, right? Or at least you'd think you'd be smarter than that. Roger that. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get cocky. I really wish you can skip this part too. There's so many parts where I wish you can skip. Let's go. Chris is smarter than that. They did. I, I agree. I agree. Chris is Chris is smarter than that. Chris is smarter than that than to be such a dickhead and, I guess, naive and ignorant in the very beginning of this Roger. game. Tundra here, leaving some supplies in one of the houses. Umberize, I need some backup. This is when this is when it starts to get hairy. This is when I start to um. You just gotta get lucky, man. You gotta get lucky with the bow and arrow shots too. See what I'm saying? You gotta get lucky with the bow and arrow shots. Ah, son of a bitch. See what I'm saying? Come on! Fuck you! I've reached the target location. Damn, this is big. <sighs> All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. And this part takes way too fucking long loading this thing up. Nice taper says driving home from work got you on the speakers. Hey, that's the high T way. That is the high T way to watch this stream. Oh! Come on, come on, come on. 
Let's get it. Fuck me. I'll mark a point with the target Hang on. I hate this bit. It's just this is the part that throws your entire speed run off. Come on. No! See that, that, that that's what I'm talking about, man, with the fucking arrows, dude. You gotta get lucky with the arrows that the arrows don't fucking hit you. Yeah, here we go. Him. Boom. All right. <laughs> Take that. Good. How close is Beardo? I'm almost done. I have one more mini boss fight right now with this, uh, with this troll, I guess, is what you call him. You call him a troll, maybe. A fucking troll. Um, and then, um, I have the mo Mother Miranda boss fight. Of course I missed. Of course I fucking missed. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no fucking way I got fucking hit with that. There's no fucking way. Please let, let that have been it. I think that was it. We got him. 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 He's done. He's done. Woo! All right. I'll keep going. All right. All right. So now that that's done, now we just got to do this. We got to go through here, run through here. This is all fucking pointless through here. Um, this is just a waste of time, in my opinion. 
And after this, all we have to do is the Leon Mother Miranda fight. And then we're done. Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. I found it. It's the Megamycene. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. Hey, time. one other thing I'll point out. Didn't expect Miranda to zero him. saves. Even zero so, saves on this. And also, zero deaths. Yeah. Zero deaths. Zero it saves. Alright, so now we get to the bit where Leon is tripping out. He goes into like this weird afterlife thing and he gets talked to by uh, Evelyn. Evelyn from um, Resident Evil 7. She pretty much just tells him that he was infected by the mold uh, in Resident Evil 7. And he's pretty much immortal. He's one with the mold. That's why he was able to... Um, um, Uh, that's why Ethan was able to, you know, put his severed arm back on just using the fucking green herb, the green potion. All right. I gotta go. All right, so one thing we will do, one thing we will do right now before our final boss with uh, Mother Miranda is... Duke's Emporium has everything you need. Let's go ahead and sell our stuff. Battle. Choose wisely. You're three crystal fragments, three large crystals, one uh, Vivanite, two yellow quartz, 19 crystal skulls, six poly, uh, uh, poly crystals, three perfect crystals, two crystal wings, a crystal beast, six crystal hearts, four mechanical hearts, perfect mechanical hearts, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, Crystal Heisenberg, wooden bit, that, uh, let's do the meat. And then, that's all we'll sell. Let's go ahead and sell that. Oh, Boom. Now we're maxed out. We're maxed out again. All right. Zero deaths and zero saves. That's manly as fuck. Jen Saska says, give him hell, Beardo. Mario Kart waits for no man. I know. I know. We're at two hours and se seven minutes. Uh, my all-time record is like one hour and 53 minutes, so we made a few mistakes. We have made a few mistakes on this, uh, on this stream. Not as quick as I would have liked, but, um, nonetheless, in one single stream, one single stream, we are damn near two hours. Damn near at two hours for a speed run, so, um, and especially a game that we have not done a speed run for in quite some time. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Rogers. You disposed of my false... That missed shot right there was crucial. The glorious... Now, please do not worry for Alright, these missed shots right here are, sure are crucial. I'll provide her with truths. So now you can die. Hey, here we go. Here we go. That was quick, man. That was really fucking good timing. That was really good. That was really fucking good. We made good time on that. Really good time on that. Boom. Skip. There we go! Come on! It's gonna be about two hours and eight minutes, I believe. Two hours and eight minutes on that. The father story is now done. Two hours, nine minutes. Now, I believe my all-time record was like 
two hour, uh, sorry, one hour, 53, 54. We're, we'll find out right now. But two hours, nine minutes, that's not bad for no exploits or anything. Save. Uh, let's find, let's find my best run right here. Um, where's my best run? Hold on, where's my best run? Where is it? Hold on, where is it? Okay, it was, okay, so it looks like my best run was an hour and 55 minutes, sorry. Hour, 55 minutes. Hour, 55 minutes and 54 seconds. That's my all-time record right there. Hour, 55. So, we were, um, a good 14 minutes. A good 14 minutes off from, uh, our, our top score right there. Um, all right, so... And there we go. Perfect timing. Yes, it, that is perfect timing because, um, perfect timing because, um, we have Mario Kart in about 30 minutes and I actually just got a call from Jeremy right now. So, um, so I'm going to have to go answer that, but, uh, uh, call him back. I will be on Geeks and Gamers Kick, Geeks and Gamers Kick. Uh, for Mario Kart, I will see you guys there. Thank you guys for joining and uh, hanging out. Shout out to the mods. Shout out to the members. Thank you guys for being here for all the support, the super chats, the recommitments, and the gifted subs. Um, why are you not answering your phone, Peter? Because I'm playing. I'm doing a speed run. Thank you guys for being here. Speed running. Resident Evil Village. Um, Resident Evil Village, man. Speed run right there. Two hours and nine minutes. I'll see you guys. Geeks and Gamers Mario Kart tonight. Um... We'll catch you guys later. We'll see you on the next stream, possibly tomorrow. Uh, and if not tomorrow, then Wednesday. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Fear the Beardo, out.